17 to 7, one person says a pleasant view is a landmark work from an important new voice on the international literary fiction. And that voice is the voice of Celeste Mohammed. She's the author of the book Pleasant View that shows the dark side of Caribbean culture. Good morning to you, Celeste. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. You're very welcome indeed. An author, a, 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 an attorney at law turned author. I don't know how you marry the two. What was it that inspired you to write the book Pleasant View? Yes, well, um, I took a break from law in 2011 and I enrolled myself in a Masters of Fine Arts program in Boston studying creative writing. And so the book was born during my time at uh, Lesley University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, it was actually my thesis. Mm -hmm. So I, I was kind of forced to write something. <laughs> and, and that thing you wrote is now the book Pleasant View. But oddly enough, Pleasant View shares the dark side of the Caribbean dream. For some, it might seem a contradiction. So explain to us why Pleasant View sharing the dark side of the Caribbean dream. Well, honestly, it was a bit, it was meant to be a bit ironic, the name and as well the cover of the book. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, people tend to have a very pleasant and very flat one dimensional view of the Caribbean, you know, sun, sea, sand, have a good time, enjoy yourself. And I don't think that uh, it's fully appreciated that Caribbean life is a bit more comfortable, uh, more, more complicated and nuanced. Mm -hmm. than um, portrayed typically we have problems we have issues and they deserve to be taken seriously Indeed. So, yeah. it's you've written you've written this book in the Trinidad context you, you're based on a, a, a space in Trinidad but we can see the Caribbean person in every word that you've written in standard English and in the Trinidad Creole so let's talk a little bit about the plot in Pleasant View yes. what when we turn the pages what do we get from those pages well i tried to give you double for your money let's say <laughs> because there are nine there are nine discrete short stories mm -hmm. um six of the nine have been previously published in uh literary magazines abroad however if you read the book in the order in which i've presented the stories you will have a totally different experience you'll feel like you're reading a novel so it's mm -hmm. like you can pick it up and you can read one story or you can read it all in one go and, and, and have the feel of a novel, but it's about a political shooting that happened mm -hmm. in the town of Pleasant View. And around that shooting, the circumstances precipitating and resulting from that shooting um, is what plays out in the book. Right. Why is a horrible action shooting? At the same time, politics yeah. is at the center of our lives, relationships yeah. is at the center of our lives, and human existence. And so we'll see all of those interplays, the different characters, how they all come together in this one locale called Pleasant View, and be able to navigate all of those things about life in, in that one space. So where is the exactly. book available, and, and how can people really begin to have access? They want to read this book called Pleasant View. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure in Barbados where it is available. I, I have no idea, but it, of course it's available at all the online uh, normal places yes. you would buy books, Amazon, and that sort of thing. But um, I always encourage people, if you don't see it in your neighborhood bookstore, the bookstore that you frequent, be sure to ask for it. Because yeah. as, as a Caribbean writer sitting here publishing a book from here, it is sometimes difficult to get our work into uh, stores. Mm -hmm. So please support Cari Caribbean, read Caribbean, and uh, you I, tell I, me, write me and tell me where you find <laughs> Pleasant View. I can say it better. Now, here it is. You, you said to me this was Pleasant View, the production thereof, was a thesis that you decided, let me just write a book. And out of that, now, the bug has been biting at you to continue authoring. <laughs> Is there another book in the in the offing very soon? There is most definitely another book. So um, I happen to have a daughter who is mm -hmm. seven years old, and so I was inspired to write two children's books mm. set in, in in Trinidad in the Caribbean. Um, so those should be coming out. The first of those should be coming out next year, I'm told. 
and uh, I'm also working on a second uh, adult book. So mm. hopefully that will be done this year as well. So we have to learn the name, note the name Celeste Mohammed, author. That's the name. You went recently <laughs> on a book tour of the US. So, so talk to me a little bit about yes. that experience and how did people respond? Well, it was actually just confined, I would say, to Brooklyn, New York, and Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. um, phenomenal response in, in D.C. I don't, I don't know if it's because they don't get many Caribbean writers coming their way compared to uh, New York. But people were so warm, it was really very heartening uh, because the book came out, it was mm -hmm. published during the pandemic. Yes. So I, it was my first opportunity to interact uh, in person with my readers and with the bookstagrammers. I don't know if you've heard about bookstagrammers. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But yeah. So this is great. You I should have... mention though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I should mention that Barbados is also mentioned in this book because I spent oh. some time there. Thank you very much for calling our name, Barbados, in the book. <laughs> now, you, on your website, you talk to me about, because there's some who want to know where can we find you. Yes, you're, you have a website. Talk to us about the website. And there's some trailers, I'm told, on the website about the book. Mm -hmm. Tell yes. me about that. So I have my, my website, CelesteMohammedWriter.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. My name, Celeste Mohammed. And on... But I'm also on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel with um, recordings of many of my appearances. And via the, if you scroll down all the way, uh, there are three book trailers available. And you can just click. And I think they're about two minutes long, each of them. You can okay. click and you can see some video book trailers, kind right. of giving you a taste of what is in the book. And that we shall do go, indeed. Go, go. There it is. There you go. There, there you go. So we see the book come to life in our video trailers indeed. And when you go go to the website, Celeste Mohammed Writes dot com, is it? Writer. Celeste Mohammed Writer dot com. And you scroll right down to the bottom, you see the, the, the trailers and you see the book come alive. And then you have that physical yes. copy or you can have the e-copy as well and read the pages of yes. Pleasant View. Pleasant View is what it's called by this lovely lady, Celeste Mohammed. She's the writer and we want to encourage more and more Caribbean people to read more and more Caribbean works. And we encourage you today yes. to get a copy of the book Pleasant View. Celeste Mohammed, thank you so much for joining us. Great work. Congratulations on it. And we look forward to the, the next set of work coming, not just from your daughter, the children's books, but also your next, and hopefully it will be a trilogy. I don't, I'm not sure. Somebody tells me there's going to be a trilogy <laughs> in the work. But all the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome indeed. CelesteMohammedWriter.com is where you go to find it.